What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, uh, we basically did all of the Deep Dark Galaxy, and we only have two more galaxies left to do in the whole game. And uh, this part, let's do the uh, Right Now Galaxy. Now, uh, yeah, it's another one with this another galaxy that's like the Battle Rock Galaxy. I wouldn't say this is as good as the Battle Rock Galaxy, but I do kind of like this galaxy. It plays the same music, and on top of that, uh, Star Number One is uh, inf inf infiltrating the Dreadnought. So, uh, yeah, it's very similar in layout to Battle Rock Galaxy. I'd say it's good for a late period galaxy in this game, which uh, the galaxy after this. We're going to save the worst for last, because the galaxy... Oh, actually plays different music, but uh, the galaxy after this is actually my least favorite galaxy in the whole game. Like, it is absolutely terrible. So, uh, we're going to do the... Uh, try to see if we can get up here, and uh, I forgot this... Uh, I, I wouldn't say this galaxy is really as memorable as Battle Rock Galaxy, but uh, you know, once we go around here, it should start playing the same music. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe I'm making up things. You gotta get these Goombas with helmets. Hey! Get to your grave. Anyway. Hey! Excuse me! Yeah! Die! Alright. Now we got that taken care of, so we get on a pipe. Or maybe the, maybe the Battle Rock Galaxy doesn't play in this level. I know it plays at some periods in this galaxy, but, uh... There should be also one up. Now, um... Not get zapped like that. Now, um... There should be some points also, uh... Where the... Yeah, those things up there are gonna squish you, so, uh, be careful of that. You wanna kinda wait till they go closer so you use them as kinda like a, uh, wall jump thing. And, uh, jump, 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 jump. We got the one-up, yes. And we're gonna go grab this. And unfortunately, though, we can't make that jump across. We're gonna have to wait till it gets back. So, uh... Yeah, so we're almost done with Super Luigi Galaxy. I only started this playthrough, I think, uh, two weeks ago, actually. So, uh... It actually went by faster than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a, part, a play that took like 40 parts, but uh, I think it's going to take like 30, actually. Which is a bit more reasonable. Like, um, a Mario Galaxy playthrough takes like 10 hours of gameplay, which, uh, believe it or not, was standard for 2007. And, uh... Actually, I can just cheat and jump on that, but, uh... Oh, shit. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. I think I think that's just a one up up there, but uh we'll just grab this. Make sure we don't get sandwiched. No! Okay, we're not gonna get sandwiched. And then make sure to fall not fall on the spikes, because that takes a hit. It's not instant death like in like Mega Man, but um There we go, there's the battle rock music. Right, so we gotta, uh, yeah, get this guy up here. And once you get these guys up here, once you go up a platform, the rest, the other platforms are gonna be destroyed. So just be a little careful because I've taken some deaths in this area. By uh, I have taken some deaths in this area by basically uh, having the thing bump me off the pot, off the platform. I could have grabbed those coins, but I didn't really feel like it. Now, um, this is the last area in this galaxy. Be careful these, uh, be beams because they will zap you. Now, I think there should be an area... Yeah, there's bullet bills, but, um, there should be an area we should, uh... The game designers kind of want us to do some kind of puzzle, but, uh... We have to kind of figure out... There it is. We have to kind of flood this place. And yeah, that just got rid of that Kuma with helmet, so be careful of those things. You definitely don't want to get zapped underwater, definitely not. 
And there should be that stop there. I don't think we can make that jump just as it is, but, um... Alright, um, let's see if we can jump it. Okay, we took a nice shortcut anyway, so, um, no! I was right almost at the star. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this again. Problem is you have to kind of do these uh, maneuvering over again, but, uh, I don't think you can, we can jump toward that star. Maybe with Mario we can because he jumps farther. Anyway, so I just took a nice shortcut right there. Yeah, you, uh, you can take some shortcuts, actually, but um, I don't care that I got zapped because I'm going to get the star right here. Now, um, there's going to be another recycled boss in this... Uh, this uh, galaxy, and I think you can take a really good. Since I think this is a lot like Battle Rock, you can really take a good guess on who it is. But uh, yeah, there's gonna be a boss on the like second time. So uh, you know, once we uh, take care of that, we can just. Uh, I forget if it's the second star. I think it's the third star we face the boss. So um, the second star is uh. Oh, and there's another recycled uh, secret star too. So uh, yeah, I guess in a way it's an exact clone of Battle Rock Galaxy. Anyway, so um. Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons is the second star in Dreadnought Galaxy. Oh, I forgot about this. This isn't really important now, but it's going to be important, let's just say, when we get to the purple coin stars. Which, uh, will be in the next few parts, so, uh, believe it or not. So, uh, we're just going to do it so we do the, uh... We're gonna do, we're, I'm gonna have it set up where we do the final Bowser the first time, and then have one giant ass part we take out of the purple coin missions. That might be a couple hours long, and after that we're gonna do the uh part. We're just gonna take care of the uh second Bowser, the final Bowser, the rematch, and the bonus area, and we should be done with this playthrough. So uh, yeah, let's get those star bits because we're gonna Ron's gonna need those that when that hungry Luma shows up. We didn't get that. We only we have 21 star bits, so uh, I guess that's kind of mid tier. But uh, there's gonna be those uh th those wrench things, staple in Mario games, but uh, staple in 2D Mario games mainly. But uh, just be careful of uh sliding off them because uh, as Luigi, I've definitely taken some deaths by uh sliding them off them. But I almost just took a death right there. I actually just took both of them out simultaneously, but, um, we're gonna shortcut this. There we go. And can you get away from me? Okay, those are coins, so... Yeah, let's just take the, uh, launch star. Let's get some more star bits, and, uh... Yeah, be on a merry way. Some star bits in the background. I like it when there's me star bits in the background. Now be a little careful. So, uh, yeah, this is an area we have to do a purple coin star around later. So, uh, it's definitely one of the worst purple coin stars in the whole game. And I'm not looking forward to doing it. I just get this goom off the platform. Oh shit. Alright. Alright, let's get the star bits. We have a one up, thank god. I think I might just record up to the final battles in this uh, one video. Um... Oh shit. Oh no! That is. Uh, I definitely got. Z I blame getting zapped for that one. I thought I could make that in time, but no. Thankfully, there's a midway point, but, um... Believe it or not, I haven't really taken too many deaths this playthrough, because I've been playing Mario Galaxy for nearly 20 years. Like, um, most Mario games, with the exception of maybe, like, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, I can beat without dying a single time, except maybe the later levels.
Like I've and I've definitely I've beaten every main series Mario game, so like except if it's a ROM house. I just got gravitational pulled towards the pit. And we have to do with this uh nonsense again with the uh thwomp. I got gravitational pulled towards or against the uh pit, so uh Let's try to see if we can, uh, there we go. Right, let's avoid the cannons. Because for some reason there's a gravitational pull. Let's get the star bits. For what, what, how many we can get. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, I almost died right there. Okay, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna focus as much as killing enemies, just get out of this area. Oh, no, no. Yeah, sometimes we can just, like, uh, get knocked off because of one of the cannonballs. Anyway, so. Jump. Jump. We can see the star in the background. I think that's just star bits in the, uh, question mark block. Which it is. Come on. There we go. Anyway, so Dreadnought's Castle Cannons is out of the way, so uh, we're gonna do the uh, third star and, uh... Oh, we almost have enough to feed that Hungry Luma. So, uh, we we're gonna get enough to feed that Hungry Luma eventually, so, uh... Right, they haven't shown up yet, but uh, we're gonna do the uh, third star in Dreadnought Galaxy. Which the third star in Dreadnought Galaxy is uh, Revenge of the Top and Tribe. So, uh, yeah, we have to deal with the Top Men again, and we on top of that, I think it's gonna show it. We have to fight Top Maniac a second time, so. And uh, there's also going to be a second Daredevil comment around Top Maniac, so... Yeah, there is kind of a recycling... I think if you go over here, there's the Secret Star, but I'm not going to grab that just yet. And so there's more Top Men, so uh, since we already dealt with them enough in Battle Rock Galaxy... Anyway, so there's uh, one of them, and I you have to take out two, so I'm just going to go grab this one up. We got, as this game calls it, an additional Luigi. Seriously, I've, heard, I've never heard one of three call that. I've heard one of call like extra guys and all that, free mans, and another one, but like, um, or is the AVG and call them life insurance? I always like went back and forth over the years calling them extra guys or one ups. These days I call them one ups. When I was a kid, I called them extra guys. Alright, so, um, I don't know why I should be chasing a, a one-up. Let's chase the one-up. Oh, yeah. I think we actually have to get this, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some blue star chips. I think the fifth one we have to kind of use... That's the fifth one we have to use this, uh, top mini for. I remember its name now, because I went... When I recorded the Battle Rock Galaxy video, I went on Mario Wiki and looked up what their actual names were, and I put it on the screen. Hey! That's not... Alright. Alright, let's do this proper. Anyway, so... If you go under here... There's, uh... There's a health extension. You might need it for this area, actually. Just wait till the cannonballs go, and then, uh... Go towards the pull star. Oh shit. No! I just lost my health extension. Well, thank God I grabbed that, but uh. Yeah, this area can be a pain, but uh. Alright, so uh, yeah, I kind of trick it to uh. There we go. 
out of that stupid area. There's gonna be another health extension around here, so uh, just be uh, get uh, get out of the clear the way of the uh, sparks and kill this uh, these guys from the Gussie Garden Galaxy. That I can't exactly remember what their names are now. Let's get the Cooper Shell. I think uh, I don't exactly remember what it is, and it's just it's just a coin. Meanwhile, there's going to be another uh, health extension, and we're probably going to need it. Anyway, we don't... Actually, wait a minute. Aw, uh, we're one short. I want the damn one-up. There's all the deaths I got in the last cat star, but, uh... Hold on a second. Oh yeah, one-up time. Anyway, so this time fighting Top Maniac, though, there's going to be less room to put him in the uh, spike. So, uh, my my life's the same. Just take care of these two uh, top men first. I don't know why uh, my nunchuck just disconnected. I'll be right back. I... Alright, I just unplug my nunchuck and replug him. Because sometimes when the nunchucks get really old, they can get like grifty and all that. I thankfully have never had much issues with this, the nunchuck. What the fuck? Yeah, because sometimes like with the nunchuck over the years when they get really old, like you, you can do you can do stuff in games like run your own and all that. But uh yeah, it's the first time I had a drifting nunchuck. They got left with the Daredevil stars, so uh Alright. I've never usually again blame faulty hard <laughs> from twenty years ago. Or nearly twenty years ago. We turned twenty in uh to twenty twenty six, so So uh yeah, basically what we're gonna do now is uh it's either gonna be the Secret Star or the Daredevil Comet, depending on what shows up first. So yeah, we just had to fight Tommy. There's gonna be another Daredevil comet also. So uh, of course the purple comet, but that's later. But uh, so yeah, it looks like we're doing the Secret Star. So uh, thankfully we don't, we don't, I don't have to cut any footage because it's right away they where the Secret Star is. So uh, we have to play a certain mini game a second time. So it's a uh, thing is if you also if you gotten all the stars in a world they can also flat out tell you where the secret star is but uh actually just uh so yeah we have to do this nonsense again so i uh, just follow the same advice i gave last time you know how hard it is keeping a dreadnought clean and then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo department hey we have plenty of bombs maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash so we just do the same advice we did last time aim them in the yellow spots I'd say this one is significantly harder than the other one, but uh, maybe not by much, but uh, just aim them in the uh, yellow spots, like here. Like, uh, the closer you get to the yellow areas, the better, because the more trash you'll take out. And just uh, kind of alternate. Alright, that should uh, do it. Alright, oh, don't let's make sure the time doesn't run out. Come on! No, 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 no! No, no, no! no. Okay, there we go. One second to spare. Wow, I'm never going to take out the trash again now that now that you can just blow it up. Oh, take this as my thanks. I can't believe I did that first try, also. I found a line around, maybe I'll help you. I cannot believe I did that the first take, also, because that one's harder than the other one. Anyway, so cutting to the uh, prankster comet. Anyway, so it's actually not a uh, Daredevil Comet. I misspoke. It's actually a Speedy Comet. So it's the last one. I got it completely wrong where Dusty Dune was not the last of Speedy Comet. This is the Speedy Comet. So uh, much like Dusty Dune, they're going to basically uh, give it six minutes to the whole galaxy. This is the uh, Topman Tribe speed run. So uh, yeah, you don't have to do any... Uh, I guess it's one thing that's kind of a positive. They don't give two Daredevil stars for the same boss. But... Um,
So unfortunately, I'm not gonna go star bit collecting. So uh, on. Okay, where's that fucker? Okay, there he is. There, right there, you go. Sometimes, sometimes these speedy comets are also designed to be harder galaxy ver versions of the same star. So uh, just be a little careful on that. Not uh, simple. We have plenty of time too. We have six minutes to breeze through the star. So uh. Let's see where the other top man is. He's right here. Can you die already? Okay, good. And, uh, what is he gonna say? Thank you, I'm gonna return. Let me create... Okay, thank God the time stops during that. I know the time doesn't stop towards in the prospect game, the star it does in Galaxy 2, but not this game. All right. Can you get over here? Okay, good. Can you not bump me? All right, there we go. I think you can take a hit if you land on those top men. Um. Yeah. Uh, if you thought that uh, area was time, it was a. Uh, was a uh, pressure what had pressure the last time we have to another time left. thankfully we we have we're about half of the stage we have four minutes left so we can definitely take our time right here like uh right, there we go I was going to do it without getting hit the, the second time, but I took, I, actually, I might even get to show, uh, hold on a second. Let's not take a hit, because I want to show this. Actually, isn't they, they're not going to give that, uh, thing a second, uh, they are, but, uh, if you actually approach a, uh, health extension with six life, here's what happens. Actually, nothing happens. I was thinking of Galaxy 2. In Galaxy 2, you get a 1-up, but nothing happens in Galaxy 1. So, yeah, we have three minutes to fight Topman. Top so, as long as we don't have a uh, rifted... Excuse me! Okay, you deserve to get killed. Actually, no. We're under a time limit. We have plenty of time anyway, but... um. So, yeah, as long as we don't deal with a drifted nunchuck, we should... uh. That's the only time I've dealt with that through this whole playthrough, actually. Hey! Alright, there we go. Okay, I should probably follow my own advice taking these things out. And get the health, uh... Alright, there we go. All right, and uh, he's gonna take on more top men. So uh, we took we have a one up, thankfully. So uh, get out the top men, and uh, probably that's probably the re I guess the boss probably the reason they give you six minutes to do this. But anyway, that is uh, Dreadnought Galaxy. Anyway, so, um, so, uh, yeah, um, I guess I can cut it off for this part of, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, so, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're gonna tackle the, uh, Melty Molten Galaxy, which is by far my least favorite galaxy in the whole game. See you guys then.